a jaw-dropping experience. And no, this is not Starfield in VR. This is Red Matter 2 and it comes with amazing sceneries, outstanding graphics, fantastic mechanics, the occasional action and puzzles that don't get boring. In this review I will tell you why this game needs to be in your VR game library. Red Matter 2 is a puzzle adventure game that takes place during a dystopian cold war whose events unfold after the original Red Matter game. And therefore I highly recommend you to play the first Red Matter game as this is somewhat of a continuation of the first one. Some characters you will read about are greatly introduced in the first game. Irina Sarova, Strelka N3's resident biologist. She was killed shortly before the incident took place. Irina and Stas were romantically involved. Now once you start the game, you are awakened by an infiltrated agent who has been sent to rescue you from a spaceship. Just follow my instructions and we'll get you out of here in no time. But just as soon as you escape, you get a distress signal from an old friend and yes, of course it is up to you to rescue him. The adventure will take you through beautiful places and rooms that are covered in old Soviet posters. And if you are like me, extend the average game length by at least one hour as I sometimes was just observing the beautiful art style of the Soviet posters or just staring outside a window to the planets downstairs. You could even see the clouds moving, everything felt so massive. First thing you notice is that compared to the previous title, you now have arms. No full body yet, but arms that add just that extra bit to the immersiveness. And after some minutes of gameplay, you are placed in your spacesuit with the familiar high-tech tools in both hands. The scanner, which lets you basically scan all objects in the game, which then gives you an explanation of what it is or what it can do. A fantastic way to translate the original point-and-click mechanic to VR. And talking about mechanics, you have the mechanical hooks to grab things in the environment. And yes, almost everything in the world you can pick up or interact with. And just look at this, it does not clip through objects or walls and it just feels so good to do this. It feels really... F okay, okay all right, it gets weird. You also have a jetpack that you can use to jump a larger distance. And somewhat later in the game you will unlock a flashlight that can now also fire flares. Which directly shows how great the lightning in the game works. And in some rooms that really shows off. Also the lightning in and through the windows looks fantastic. Graphic wise they have really done a good job and the textures of some items are so highly rendered that at times it looks photorealistic. If you want to experience the best graphics, play this one on the PC. Nonetheless, this game looks very pretty on the Quest 2 standalone as well. And last but not least, compared to the previous game, you will also be able to use a gun. Now the gun looks fantastic and has a very fun mechanic of when overheating. You can see a bar going up and when it's overheating, you have to press the grab button to cool it down. And that is all shown with animations on the gun. Now don't worry that your favorite adventure puzzle game is turning out to be an action-packed VR shooter. Some enemies arise just in certain areas, but it is just a small portion of the game. If you really not like the action at all, you can set the difficulty to easy and basically shoot them from close by. On normal difficulty, it was a nice challenge, which I enjoyed and it was a good distraction from only doing puzzles. Now the puzzles in Red Matter 2 are great, very diverse and I did not get bored at all. I needed no help or tips and I think the puzzles are having a great balance in difficulty. You might find them a bit easy if you are a full-fledged hardcore escape room puzzler, if that's even a thing, but the puzzles in VR in general have added a whole new style to gaming and I love it. Red Matter 2 has even brought some new innovations to puzzles that I have not seen in other VR games yet. A fantastic job. Unfortunately, I can't show you too much of that as that will just spoil too much. All by all, I think the developers have outdone themselves, delivering a finished stunning game and I have experienced zero bugs in my playthrough, which lasted about 7 hours. The story was great and the puzzles felt not repetitive at all. There are also many options for comfort, standing, seated gameplay, vignette blinders, etc. This one, yes, is at the level of Half-Life Alex, or even better. If you want to dive into another reality and you are looking for that next jam game, look no further, this is a must buy. If this made you curious, you can check out my 10 minutes of raw gameplay and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date with the latest PC VR updates. I hope to see you all in my next video. Ciao ciao.